In this After Effects tutorial, I will share with you 5 amazing After Effects tips and tricks to take your motion graphics game to the next level. These tips will help you create stunning visuals, save time and keep your workflow efficient. You will be able to create professional grade motion graphics in no time. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and the first trick that I want to show you is let's say I have a scene inside of After Effects which is a very simple one which has a subtext title and description and I want to create an animation which is clean, minimal and looks professional and the most important thing is I want to create or I want to add this one animation on all three of this text. So how can I do that? Well, let me show you a very easy and simple animation that you can add on any text animation and it's going to look clean and professional. So so first of all, I'm going to hide these two and let's focus on our main text. Then click right here and go into animate. I'll click here and add a position. Let's go into add property and add an opacity. Let's go again into add property and let's add a blur. All right, let's bring down the position. So let's set this to around 100 and let's bring down the opacity to zero. Then go into the range selector and let's go around one second and set the offset to 100%, create a keyframe, go back to zero and set this to minus 100. So now when it previews, we have something which looks like this. Now to fix it, let's go into the advanced option and in the shape, I'll set this to ramp up. So now we have something like this. So now if I quickly preview this, we have a nice text animation but it doesn't look that clean and that professional so what i'm going to do is increase the ease low all the way up to 80 and increase the ease high to around 10 or 15 percent so now when i preview this okay so this is much better than before but what i like to do is set the based on character to based on words and now if i preview this we have this very nice typography but let's take this one step further so what i'm going to do is go ahead and remember the blur that we added i'm going to increase that so let's set this to around 20. so now it has a very subtle blur when it animates in so it looks like it's out of focus and when it animating in it's coming in in focus so i'll maybe set this to around 30 let's say and if I preview this, we have this really nice typography animation. And the best part is now I can simply copy this animator. So make sure select the animator, press control C to copy it. And I'll move my time indicator at the very start. Let's turn on these two layers as well. Select them and press control V to paste it. So now if I preview this, we have something like this. But you can see the lines animating in a different way as compared to the main text. So to fix it, what I usually like to do is go into animator one, go into the range selector and go into advanced. And what I'm going to do is change the based on words to based on lines. So now it animates something like this, which looks really, really cool. And the last thing that I like to do is it displays them a little bit. So first I want my subheading to pop up and I'll zoom in my timeline, go to five or 10 frames, pull that to 10 frames and pull the third layer to 20 frames. So now when I preview this, we have this really nice looking animation. And as you can see, it's very simple to create, but it looks so clean, so minimalist and professional. The next trick that I want to show you guys is again about a typography animation, which looks really, really awesome. In fact, it's going to look a bit more complex and funky. So let's go into the text properties, go into animate and add a tracking. So now when I increase the tracking amount, you can see the text goes from left to right. And I want this to happen from the center. So to do this, what we need to do is select the text, go into the paragraph tab, go into center text and set it to center text and then align this into the center. And now if I increase the tracking amount, you can see it's happening from the center. So I'm going to set this to somewhere around here. All right, go into add, add a property of um, position, bring that down like so, and then add a property of opacity and bring that down to zero. And then what I'm going to do is go into add, 
and add a selector this time of expression go into the expression selector one and i'm going to get rid of the expression that it has so hold alt and click on the stopwatch so it's going to get rid of that i'm going to use a very simple expression all you have to do is copy paste this expression right here you'll find the expression in the pinned comment below also in the project file so you can download it if you want to so hold alt click on the stopwatch and then copy paste the expression so hit ctrl v to paste it and now here we have a very complex and cool looking text animation really easy by using just one expression now the best part is that you can modify it however that you want so right now the dk is set to five so maybe i can go right here and if i let's just set this to one let's see what happens as you can see we get much more dk and bounciness so if i let's say set this to 10 we have a much lesser bounciness. I can also play around with the frequency. So if I set this to let's say eight, we have something which looks like this. So you can play around with this and you know, create your own cool looking text animation, super easy and cool. The next trick that I want to share with you guys is about how you can use textures to improve your typography look or your text look. So right now I have a texture, it looks good, but we can make it even more cooler by adding a nice texture to this. So I'm going to select the text, go into the track mat option, and I'm going to set this to Luma Matte if you're using an older version of After Effects. And if you're using a newer version, you can just set this to texture. And now you can see our text looks much more interesting. It has this nice character. And the best thing you can do with this texture is add a curves adjustment and basically tweak it a little bit and adjust it however that you want. So I like to keep the highlights a bit up. So it looks much better and then you can animate this text however you want maybe you can increase or decrease the scale or if you want to animate it using the texture you can select both of them press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and um, then you can just simply press ok and then move it however you want you can animate it however that you want the next trick that i have for you is how you can use circular style typography or basically how you can use text to path so here i have a simple text layer i'll delete this effect we don't need it so here we have a simple text layer what i can do is go right here and select the ellipse tool and let's create a circle holding alt Control, and shift at the same time maybe something like that and then go into the text properties so i'll go right here in the text properties and in the path option i'm going to set the path to mask one that we just created then i'll reverse the path and boom now i can adjust the first margin however that we want i can adjust the last margin i can you know force alignment now what i can do is duplicate this press ctrl d and place it below i can change the font so let's go with something like clash cross thick maybe medium and let's hit m to bring down the mask select it press ctrl t and let's increase this holding alt and shift at the same time like so all right now i'm going to bring down the text size so it looks much better like so maybe 71 0.5 okay and we can animate this text as well so i'll go right here select the text press r to bring down the rotation hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in a simple expression that is time times let's go with maybe 15 so it's going to keep on rotating like this and then i'll select this copy this expression select the second text press r to bring down the rotation and let's press ctrl v but this time i'm going to set this to around 25 so the second text is a bit much faster than the first one and there you go there you have this really interesting looking typography animation and finally the last step i have for you is how you can use simple shapes to create a nice transition so here i have a very simple scene without animation and i want it animate from zero i wanted to use it as an overlay on some other video so what i'll do is press ctrl y to create a new solid you can call it anything that you want i'm gonna call this mask press ok and change the blend mode of this to stencil alpha and then i'm going to animate this so i'll go to one second press s to bring down the scale property create a keyframe go back and set this to zero select it i can press f9 to easy ease this or you can just simply go right here go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then i'm going to tweak this graph like so so now we have this nicer wheel or maybe let's make it a bit more interesting by creating a peak in the center so now we have something like this so we have this reveal and the background is not black it's actually transparent as you can see then what i can do is select everything press ctrl shift c to pre-compose it press ok and then let's copy this mask that we created so ctrl c ctrl v let's put it at the back and i'm going to set this to normal let's add a fill to add a nice color to this 
let's move this a little bit few frames forward maybe something like that and i'll set this to white color and now if i preview this we have this nice animation so you can use it as an overlay over any text you can use the same technique to create an animation out and it not only works with the scale animation you can also animate it using the position so wherever you want to move it you can animate it like this from left to right from up to down anything that you want so these are the five essential after effects tricks and tips that i think can be super useful to you guys so let me know in the comments which trick you found super helpful and if you have any more tricks that you want to share with me do let me know in the comments below with that said i will see you guys in the next video and if you want you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you want to learn after effects from scratch the right way i have a complete course on it link to which is again in the description with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out